الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبع هداهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين الله سبحانه وتعالى chooses what to do with his da'wah and selects the people whom he will use for the da'wah We are here, brought together, and the one thing that brings us together is the remembrance of Allah. Coming here is an investment in ourselves, and an investment in our families. It is an opportunity to connect to each other. It's an opportunity to network. It's an opportunity to listen to guidance so that we can be more effective in carrying this da'wah. Make no mistake about it, we are a people on a mission. Who will stand up for justice if we don't? Whoever it is will run away with the reward. Who will stand up for the rights of the oppressed if we don't? Who will convey the message if we don't? We will, inshallah. Who will exemplify Muslim values if we don't? We will, inshallah. We will not wait for anybody else to take that reward and run with it. The Sahaba did not wait. You know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Al-Waqi'ah, He says, you know there are good people, people of the right way, people of the bad way, and then he singles out, وَالسَّابِقُونَ السَّابِقُونَ أُولَٰئِكَ الْمُقَرَّبُونَ The pioneers, السَّابِقُونَ, those who outrun the others. Those are the ones who will be drawn near to the Creator. Everybody is trying to run to be close to Allah, but they are going to be drawn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They'll get their VIP invitation. Because they were running toward Allah in this life. In the hereafter, they don't have to run anymore. They are invited. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us an opportunity with all the challenges that we face, whether it is internal challenges of building a truly cohesive and unified Muslim community that is an example and a model for all of society, or external challenges from people who make it hard for us to live peacefully, to the challenge of living in a good way in a society that sometimes upholds values that are Islamic and other values that are not. All of these challenges are an opportunity for us, a chance for us to work, a chance to make this world a better world. You see, if everything were perfect, we would not have anything to do. The Sahaba were mired in the, pro not mired, were involved in resolving the problems of the society. Because of this, they became the great men and women that they became. And now is our turn. So we come in this convention so that we can be better versions of ourselves. So that we can do a service to our family and community and to all of society. So that we can be involved in da'wah. So that we can convey the message of Islam. So that we can do a service to all of humanity. In other words, we come here to be who we are meant to be. People who are defined by La ilaha illallah. In this coming two and a half days, I ask Allah to bestow His blessings on us that we depart from this place not like we came in. And we leave this place not having enjoyed it, not having been entertained, not having learned a good lecture or five only but having been changed and transformed so that we can take this message and we can bring Islam to life. Islam will die if people don't carry it, but Islam is not to die. There will always be people to carry it. And therefore, Islam comes to life when we bring it to life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use us to bring this great message to life for the benefit of all. Jazakumullahu khayran and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.